spirit free say you one minute late spirit free what's up with you how you feeling today spirit free spirit free how you feeling today talking about who in here i'm in here say yo i'm good what you what is your profession what you do for a living spirit free he said i'm the greeter now <laughs> John Frank said, what you want now, BG? Oh, I'm just here to hold y'all hostage and, and until I get all my demands met. I'm going to wait till we get 100 people in the building, and then I'm going to start holding y'all hostage. Hold y'all hostage till I get my uh, 700... 80 acres in a mule. 780 acres in a Clasdale. 800 acres in a in a couple gypsy vanners. Uh 1000 acres in a fleet of Frasian horses. Yeah. Yeah, I got a list of demands. Yeah. I'm a victim of hostage now. Man, it's hot as hell out here. It's hot. Listen, it's hot as hell out here. I usually don't, I usually don't pop the top, but it's hot as fuck out here. And I just got back from this job. The same one I told y'all about yesterday. I made short work of that shit, y'all. See, I got the ladder sitting up here in the trailer. And then I figured, I was like, I'm not even going to take this shit to the landfill. I'm going to bring this shit back to the compound. And I'm going to go ahead and chip this up. And uh, make wood chips for my garden beds. So I'm about to make some wood chips. Out of, uh, out of these limbs I brought back home. But other than that, I ain't up to nothing much. Man, it's hot as fuck out here. Wayne Boshizi said, Sayah. It wasn't Sayah. Mm, 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 mm. Hot as fuck out here. What kind of wood are you making in the chips? Uh, I didn't even pay attention to what kind of wood it was because the guy he just had some shit on uh, From last winter storm some uh, one of the, the bigger limbs Fell over his garage and and it was covering blocking his entrance into the garage He was like oh I need you know went out there cleared that for him. I, don't, I didn't even pay attention I wasn't even on woodchuck mode. I was just on you know get the job done mode and I didn't even pay attention to the well I don't know what the fuck this is Bryce hot Bryce Hismas said what got you in the gardening? I mean basically what what got me in, in the garden is the understanding that like growing your own food is like printing your own money. That shit food is a hot commodity right now. Um and and my wife loves gardening. I love eating. It's like you like to eat. But when, when people say gardening, sometimes people mean like like flowers. Like I'm not into flowers. I'm not the flower guy. I like food. I like planting stuff that I can eat later. I like plant I, I like the idea of planting things that you can eat or that your offspring can eat. You know? I mean, because when you say gardening, people usually, you know, people yawn and, and they want to take a nap while you talk because you're you know, you when you think of gardening, you think of those type of people that they're like garden, but nah, this shit epic, son. Like, yo, if you want to eat, if you want to survive, 
the way forward is going back. I come from a long line of agricultural people. I know that for a fact. So growing your own food, that's like tapping into your own roots. It's hot out here because of global warming. Don't you know also the aliens are possibly allegedly doing something to our atmosphere? Somebody say a heat wave hasn't made it here and It, and it's just and it's just good not just for survival but it, it's just i don't know i like seeing the fruits of my labor in the form of food i like knowing that i tilled the soil and and did the fuck out of one for like two to three months and then once that time is up you start seeing things come from the ground that you just sweated over like a couple months prior to and you look and you're like mm-hmm and then when people come over, I mean, you can sell it. People, it's another uh, source of income. You, people come over, you can make them home cooked meals made with ingredients that you grew out back. You know, so it, I mean, that's just, I don't know. I, I just, I'm human. That's why, I, you know. My see machine says it's 91 outside. That's why my phone freaking out right now. My phone doing that blinky thing. Frog pox outbreak in the swamp. I see y'all still listening to that dumb shit. Y'all still inside listening to that dumb shit. Meanwhile, I'm out here inhaling tree sex dust. is epic I feel like you ducking my comments be jizzle well, what you talking about shoot I ain't feeling some I'm not feeling some type of way right now y'all can ask me anything I'm out I'm out here shooting the deuce with y'all till I fire up this wood chipper what's up it's 91 in Houston sitting in traffic transporting patients shit That sounds like hell. When you cooking the duck, probably some, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do it this weekend, maybe next weekend. I don't know. I will. I will. I might. Look at those two robins right there. Look, he's in. Somebody said, what's your favorite cut? What's your favorite cut of meat? Uh, I don't know. I'm fond of ribs. I know there's not a lot of meat in the ribs, but I like I like the patience and the preparation and everything that goes into cooking them. And I like when people just get the... Like they ain't never had a rib that good before. But I don't know. I don't have a favorite cut. I like all of it. I don't discriminate. I like every cut. I ran over a bird, it ruined me for like two days. Why didn't it fly away? I mean, fuck it, leave it to Beaver. Bryce Hasman said, do you own a Milwaukee die grinder? Yeah, I own the M18 um, uh, die grinder and I own the, the right angle grinder too. The one that uh, takes a three inch cutting disc. Bro, I got some shit to cut off. I'm going to do a shield part two.
maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday, I'm gonna do a shield part two with nothing but cutoff tools. And I got the metal cutting blades, um, mm, the, uh, and I'm gonna cut some metal with the uh, super sawzall, put it that way. Y'all see me cutting the fence post with it, that was a cherry fence post. And y'all see that super sawzall rip through that cherry fence post like it was nothing. And I'm going to cut that same piece of metal I cut with the grinder, but I'm going to do it with the sawzall. Bryce Hasman said, do you like it? Yeah, I like it. It's a bit awkward with the M18 batteries, um, the M18 die grinder. And uh, I basically, I got it so I can get to a couple fasteners that were on the back of a, a couple exhaust bolts on the, on the back of a six cylinder Nissan. And I was, we were just going to cut them out. But um, it was compact enough to get in there. But I like the uh, the right angle, the M12 right angle die grinder. Like that shit can get pretty much anywhere. And then the cutoff tool, the M12 cutoff tool. It was like a versatile mix. So there's nothing that you will run into that you can't cut off. I like knowing I can cut anything off from anywhere. John said, do you watch TV? No, nah, I'm pretty, I just, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I watch TV. I don't watch news or nothing like that. I think I got, what I got? Uh, maybe we got Hulu, some shit like that. I watch TV. I, I got Netflix too. I be seeing some wild, I, I see that shit. See the price of those M18 batteries nowadays. Man, fuck it. Leave it to be, man. Ain't nothing but something to do. Watachi running free too said, I get people like you to do all my cutting. Well, shout out to you, Watachi running free. What about music, Mr. Bass Player? Uh, I don't know. I got a wild. I got a real diverse taste in music. Like, I don't care if I hear it and I like it, I like it. I don't like just one genre and be like, oh, I like this genre. I like classical. I like jazz. I like, I like, I love go-go music. I grew up on that. Um, oldies but goodies, like Anita Baker and them, Deborah Laws. Damn, that bird. That bird fucking with that. That same bird fucking with that squirrel again. Oh, they beefing like shit over there. Poor squirrel. Somebody said Lincoln Park. I I, I bang with Lincoln Lincoln Park, but Lincoln Park. They fucking keyboard player wild as fuck. Like every song sounds the same. Like they keyboard player does the same thing for every song. Somebody said BG in the Chicago drill. No. Fuck no. No, I don't get into that. I missed that whole introduction to that i don't know somebody said milwaukee drill yeah i got the milwaukee um hammer drill and the uh, I got the SDS Max hammer, uh, hammer drill with masonry bits, and I got a, a smaller, more compact M18. It's a hammer drill. That shit hammers the fuck. I got the big one and the small one. Pick one. I got them. Somebody said 3.0 batteries. John Frank, get out. If you buy them 3.0 batteries, get out. What, M18? 
Man, shit. If, it, if you don't get the 3.0 batteries on it, you might as well get the 5 amp hour batteries. Nah, don't cut corners. Dixie chick? No, nah, I don't listen to Dixie chicks, anti vis. But I do know your mom has it going on. So I listen to Aaron Carter and them. That little cover he did on that shit. Anti vis mom has got it going on. Your mom got it going on. CCR, I don't know, critical, I don't know what the fuck CCR is. Yeah, all that, I listen to all that, Bone Thug, all types of shit. <sighs> Thomas Snow said Epstein didn't kill himself. Ryan Bravo said, what up? What's up? McAfee is not dead. I don't know who the fuck that is. Epstein most likely killed his, his body double, though. I don't, I don't give a fuck about Epstein. Credence Clearwater Revival CCR. I don't know what the fuck that has to do with anything. He made an antivirus software that you shouldn't ever have on the computer. I was in the whitest homemade pie shop yesterday and Kodak Black was playing. Oh yeah, because Trump pardoned him. Trump pardoned Shout out to Kodak Black. How did your job go yesterday? BG, ladder, in a tree with chainsaw. Uh, good, and that was this morning. Catskill Hillbilly, that was this morning. It was a little small. You see, I still got the ladder on the trailer right there. That's a nice ladder too. Only a dummy doesn't know how to be careful on a ladder with a chainsaw i mean come on now no so i'm gonna chip all of this up put it in um put it in the gator and in the gorilla cart wheeling on over there to the garden and start filling the garden beds with wood chips so they can retain moisture better just cover the soil in general you know Ladder plus chainsaw equals bad. Oh yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, no, don't do, don't do what I do. I I get the job done. Like I'm, regardless. But yeah, for like for safety's sake, yeah, don't fucking do that. It's fucking retarded. <laughs> Me, I'm retarded. I do it. I get, I get results. Yep, we bought a chipper last summer, best investment. And I really don't even know, like this is just one of the, like I haven't even used this chipper to like make money for myself. It's just, I just use it for around here. Like it's not something that I, uh, like check it out. It's, it's not even something that I rent out or that I, uh, I don't even sell wood chips for it. I was just joking with you guys. You can see the tires went flat see that flat tire right there i just pulled it down here this gonna be the first time i fire it up since uh november i believe i 
Man, y'all see that trailer? Y'all see? First, first and foremost, I need y'all to uh, give me kudos on my skills with the truck and trailer. Because a lot of the men in this live chat would have hit my fence and everything else trying to back this 16-foot trailer into the backyard. You see how perfect that is? You see how one shot, I one shotted it. You see how perfect that is? See how I got that double wide fence? So that's the first thing I need y'all to notice. That's why me and the guy that owns the tree service, we were talking about going half on a sawmill. I know I need to replace these decking boards, especially that one, but you know my motto, fuck it, leave it to Beaver. It pulls straight and true, brakes work, everything work. And I drove, I drove uh, four hours to Charlottesville, Virginia to pick up this trailer. And I got a good deal on it too. How much y'all think I paid for that trailer? Where the trailer guys at? I love you guys. How much y'all think I paid for that trailer? How much y'all think I paid for that 16 foot trailer? Peter Bills said 3,500. No, Peter Bills, I paid $2,200 for that. $2,200. Gardner's Pharmacy said 900. Maybe back in the year 2000, you're not gonna find a 16 foot trailer tandem axle, nothing for for under 3,000, but I found a good deal on that. Yeah, I got it, that's why I drove four hours one way to go pick it up, and drove four hours back, back here. I wasn't playing, he thought I was bullshit, that was an eight hour day picking up this trailer. He thought I was bullshit, he said, I, I got, bro, they flooded me, this was on Facebook Marketplace too. He said, I'm getting, I called him as soon as he posted it, it said like two minutes when I clicked on it. When I clicked on the list, I hit him up. And, and, and he was like, yeah, if you're not bullshitting, come get it. You know, people on Facebook Marketplace, they be bullshitting. So he was like, man, I'm getting them. They coming in. I said, I got it. So I was like, bro, I'm coming up there with cash. Don't even worry about none of that. 2200 cash in your face. Yeah, give me that trailer. But this trailer, bro, no lie. This trailer has paid for itself so many times over. Bro, this shit, man, look. That's why I said, man, I, I, I bang with my trailers, man. I bang with my trailers. Like, it be people, you, you see the people out there preaching financial freedom and Bitcoin and all that. I'm like, man, yo, go get a trailer, son. Like, you can't go wrong with a trailer. Like, you, you, you can't go, I quit selling stuff on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. Man, they got them deals on there. They got skid steers on there. I seen a Bobcat MT55. The little baby Bobcat that you stand, got the Sally on it. A little baby Bobcat. What what that shit? MT55 or some shit like that. A little baby Bobcat. I like this shit. It went like 15000 for it. I like, you know. So now I've been looking at them shit. I'm like, and it's little, it's compact, it's portable. You know, you, you stand on the back of that bitch. And I seen the dude, I was looking up YouTube videos on it. Yeah, hey, little, little miniature skid steer, you know, little baby skid steer. And I seen the dude, he was lifting, um, he was lifting like, like four foot wide rounds with it in, into a dump truck. Well, he was just standing on the back and the guy, you can walk with it or they, they come with the salad. You can get the salad and just ride behind it. Like how people like how the essays do with the llama. I was like, man, damn right. And it's compact. That shit, damn right. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to get one of those. Man, it, easy to maneuver. I'm the. It's not the full Monty. You just get in there and sit down and do the fun. Nah, this. Well, you step on the back of it. You, mm, you know, it got tracks. It got tracks. I done already talked to my um to the woodchucks they was like nah when you get a skid steer get the tracks on it because the tires people be getting stuck all the fucking time it ain't nothing but rubber blocks they get expensive and it was like man get the tracks you'll never get stuck so i'm i'm leaning more towards tracks 
and I believe it was the it was what was it a Bobcat a Bobcat MT55 like but then people was like oh if you gonna get a miniature skid get a get a Vermeer or a, or, or um or a cat I was like nah I want that Bobcat right there four hours from your place to charlottesville what were you riding that bike you stole to get to get business nah that's that's um charlottesville out there anybody that's ever been to man charlottesville where people that live in charlottesville are like yo this shit far out here son like charlottesville bro you gotta pass lynchburg to get to charlottesville virginia like you gotta pass lynchburg virginia like man, that shit ain't no joke you gotta go. You gotta go all the way down yonder. Shoot down this route. Take route three. Go all the way up twenty nine. Shoot through Culpeper. Then you can catch eighty one, or you could just take sixty six west. Catch eighty one going south all the way fucking down. You gonna be driving for a fucking minute. It doesn't matter which way you come, which way you you try and get to it from. Shout out to Charlottesville. Hi BG. Just listen to Doctor cohen live stream what's up uh michelle uh who said that what's up michelle bear if i drive 15 minutes i am in a whole different country oh that makes sense they were trying to lynch you in the bird that could be a detour nah lynchburg virginia that's a chill spot i like lynchburg lynchburg got some good people out there too I used to live down the street from ODU in Norfolk. Loved it. Oh, you was out there in the 757. I smell brakes. I smell brakes. Y'all need to check y'all brakes. I smell burning brakes. Like somebody got a stuck caliper piston. That shit not retracting when you let off the, the brake pedal and that shit just stuck on the road and you driving that shit heating up. That shit starting to smoke. And you get out of your vehicle, you put the back of your hand on your rent, that shit burn your shit. You're like, yeah, nigga, you got a stuck caliper piston. You need to get with that shit one day and replace that. Somebody say good lemonade there. Where? Out there in uh, Lynchburg. You all need a sugar mama back back to work here later y'all why we need a sugar mama you, <laughs> you don't want to go back to work it look like you need a sugar baba and i got the missus up front uh moving vervain what this shit called who in here seen uh uh the vampire diaries y'all seen the vampire diaries Man, my old lady went out and bought Vervain. You know the shit they 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 would uh take and put in their bloodstream so the vampire can't like compel them. Then the vampire be like, "You will tell me." They was like, "I'm on Vervain, dog. You you can't suck my blood. You can't compel me. You can't do. That. I got that Vervain in my vein." Yeah, she went out and got Vervain, put them in the front. You know, pretty little purple flowers and shit. But I'm like, damn, God, put that Vervain. I thought she wanted peony. She want everything. Women don't know what they want. Women want all of it. <laughs> Until you're just like, no. <laughs> but she got the vervain. She just came home with it. Put it out front. And then and then um the neighbor up the street, they're like, y'all house get prettier and prettier. Uh every time I walk by, every day they walk by walking their dogs and shit. Somebody said this did the diamond and silk show. Is this the diamond and silk show? Shout out the diamond and silk. I'm in a good mood today.
only got brake pads on the front tire. That's how I got. I got. I got. Um, I got shoes on the rear. I got drum brakes in the back. That's how I like it. I don't want. I don't want disc brakes in the back. I like my trucks with drum brakes. And I got a good um, drum brake kit. It should come with the spring remover, the clamps, the uh, the adjusters, different adjusters. I got the whole. I got the whole kit. I paid like one fifty five for it for the whole kit to do a wide variety of uh, different vehicles, uh, brake shoes and e brakes. I know this stuff in my house all the time. She claims we had it for years, old man. Yeah, that makes sense. Sometimes women women will hit you with the member we talked about it, but you don't really listen to it, so you're like, we talked about it. They try to hit you with that shit. I had a Dodge Neon with drum brakes in the rear. See, that's just stupid. See that that's that's intense. That's that's no. They could have put well a lot of newer vehicles, they're gonna have disc brakes anyway. So so if you had an older Dodge a Dodge Neon, first of all, I need you to get out for even having a Dodge Neon. You need to get the fuck out. Okay, that's pretty bad. I don't even know why you said that out loud. This nigga said, I had a Dodge Neon that had drum brakes in it. Nigga, you had me a Dodge Neon. Now get out. <laughs> it was indeed the stupidest car I ever drove. Agree off to Autism Acres. Shit, um, bluegrass in the wood. Get a bus out there. I use my feet as brakes like the Flintstone. You got some wild shit going on with your big toe down. I know you got that gang green shit. You ripping up sheets and shit next to your old lady when y'all get in the bed at night. She pissed off at you. Jeffro810, what's up with you? I ain't up to nothing much, man. Out here ducking that bullshit that they got on TV. The latest scare tactics and the and the latest race baiting and all that other weird goofy gay shit that men and women out there the world concerned with. Somebody said they just gaslighting us and that shit worked. It worked, don't it? It worked when you, when you stared Medusa long enough, you eventually turn to stone. That's why I made that one of my last skits was was how I killed the media. I started snapping necks with with the powers of telekinesis. Just they kept coming in with problems. I was like, and they would fall the fuck out, and then somebody else come in with the next new story and current thing. I'm like, all that shit. That shit flooding y'all emotional re response reservoir. Like, y'all just... Like, I done seen good, decent, kind-hearted people turn raw meat because they look at the news. They just turn raw meat. Good people. Like, good people. Like, remember Fox and the Hound? Best friends forever, Todd. Shit, okay. Well, that hound dog kept watching the news... And eventually turned on the fox. All that friendship shit went out the window. That hound dog got updated with new programming. That's how it is. It be people like Casey. It it it'll change the way you feel about your neighbor. Some of y'all got good neighbors. Y'all keep seeing that shit on TV, and now you get to looking at your neighbor sideways. The same. Remember the same shit I was telling y'all what happened in prison with the Trayvon Martin shit. How the Crips and Bloods in the in the Aryan Circle and in, in, in the Aryan Brotherhood, everybody got along. And then they came out with that bullshit story. It was like, yeah, 
yeah, this white man just killed this black kid for nothing. And then you had, I think that was the first time we heard of Black Lives Matter with this shit came out. And then the, the lawyer dude did the fuck out of one and made all niggas everywhere feel like perpetual victims for no fucking reason. Niggas got in their feelings. People started getting standoffish. You know, before you know it, you used to have a space partner, but he over there looking at you sideways now. Like, You know, then you got the other people on the other side of the aisle feeling some type of way. And it's like, before you know it, you keep staring at that that device, that system that's feeding you that bullshit. You're going to turn on your neighbor. You're going to turn on your family member. And that's where the real wealth is. Like, the, your friendships you develop over time and the people you get close with and your family. Man, y'all let that bullshit on TV get in between y'all. For real. Like, that shit destroys marriages. You heard me? I ain't lying. That shit destroy marriages. That shit would destroy a whole fucking marriage out here in these... You'd be like, you and your wife don't see eye to eye on certain issues. Now they talking about it, man. That shit crazy, man. That shit crazy. It tear families right down the fucking middle. Before you know it, that tension leads to a fucking divorce. And y'all know, know how I feel about it. I don't believe in divorce. That shit's not even in my fucking vocabulary. But that shit, man, that shit have turned you against your best mans. That shit have, that shit have destroyed your zombie apocalypse group before your zombie apocalypse group even starts. Put it that way. Especially with the race shit, man, they beating, they beating the fuck out of y'all with a race stick. The stick says race on it, and they are beating the fuck out of you with it. Every day, you can't even wake up good and rub the crust out your eye. You hit that bit like that, you cut on it, you cut on your device. Today, this just in, more racism. Man, before you know it, the people over there, they're going to be like, man, that all niggas do is complain. And the people over there, that's all niggas do is oppress. And then before you know it, you got, ain't going to be no race war. Nah, it's just going to be niggas marching and begging for more privileges from the government. Oh, we want the right to exist. As if. Then, you, then you're going to have more and more people over there stand offish. And then it's like, like how many of y'all have seen um the, um, what was it? The New Mutants? The X? I forgot what the fuck it is. But I was watching this show, and it was it was centered around the X-Men, you know, mutants in that world. And the mutants, they wanted to live separately from the humans. And you had human, you had this human radio host who was working with one of the, the separatist mutants. And she was paying him to spread nothing but hate and disdain for mutants. So that people, yeah, it was X-Men, so that people could, um, yeah, so that they would hate. He was talking, he was like, yeah, we got to do something about these people with the X-Gene. And they're our biggest problem. They're not even of our species. We need to get rid of them. Stomp them out. And the whole time, it was the, the main chick with the X-Gene. She was a mutant. She was paying him to do that. So that humans wouldn't trust the um, mutants. That way, she could bring her uh, her worldview of you know it was the, that shit was wild. She wanted two countries, one for mutants, one for humans. She was like, y'all live over there, we live over here. But they were working with each other. And then when when the mutants, it was called the gifted. It was called the gifted. And then and then when the mutant. What was that on? Was that on like Hulu or some shit? That shit was on Hulu. It's called The Gifted. And then when the mutants found out that the their leader yeah, is on Fox, it was on Hulu. Then when the mutants found out that their leader was working with the human, they were like, what the fuck? What the fuck going on? And she was like, we need him to cause unrest so that we can we can bring our work. Bro, I was like, man, this shit, that's what's going on. I was like that shit. That sh I like man. That's what's going on. That's what I feel like. A lot of that shit is man. When you start, bro, well, I'm telling you. When you stay at Medusa long enough, you turn to stone. I don't give a fuck what your ambitions are, what you plan to do. 
and people dead ass they're like i'm getting shit done in real life nigga no you not bro you bro you putting that you putting that stank on your spirit listening to that shit i had to cut that shit off y'all thought i was lying when i said i'm i'm done like most most people that say that they're done Most people that say they're done, they're like they they go in there and and watch some alternative shit. They still they still put that shit in their head. It's like man, I'm done. Somebody said, "Oh, Matrix Breaker in the chat." Matrix Breaker said, "Race is the most important factor to the level of society you live in." And how is that? How was that? I don't want to go there again. But once again, these these be the people that be like, oh, race is the most important factor. And then you then you like, what is race? They're like, you're black, I'm white. And then these be the same people that don't want to claim Jewish people as white, even though their skin is white as fuck. This shit is fucking retarded. Matrix Breaker, how you feeling? He said, go to Pakistan, BG. That's not a different race, son. That's a whole different culture. That Pakistan ain't had shit to do with race. That doesn't have shit to do with race. And if I and if I was of Islam, I could go to Pakistan and be okay. Because we had the same worldview. They don't, they don't, they don't play that race shit over there. Like y'all, that's some American shit. Y'all got a hard dicks. For race black skin and white skin y'all got hard dicks for it who black skin white that's here man you go over there that's what Malcolm X found out that's why he stopped preaching hate for the white man because he went over there and he seen white men Asian men they were all they were all Muslims when when he went to the Middle East and he said these are my brothers and these are my sisters so he couldn't come back to America and preach that same nation of Islam shit. The NOI shit, the black Muslim shit. Yeah. That's what Malcolm X found out. Malcolm X wasn't on that shit. So that's your ideology. People bond over ideology, that or language. Race has nothing to do with it. That's some new shit. Outside of that is culture. What the fuck is that? Outside of that is culture. It's not racist ideology. I'm not talking politics, but what, but what you actually believe. I don't know if that's a question or, I don't know if that's a question or what. I don't know what the fuck going on. Yeah, Islam. It, man, the the. I'm not talking about the nation of Islam neither. I'm talking, bro, I was in prison with real Muslims. Like they don't, there, there is no such thing as race. There's not. They don't do that shit. That shit does not exist. So maybe they're talking about go to Pakistan and you'll see race. No, nigga, they're not a different race. They have a different religion. That's it. That's it. And even they fight amongst themselves. They're not looking for you. Nah, Shiite, Sunni. They at each other's throats. That shit has nothing to do with race. That shit is retarded and that shit is a new world view. It has to do with perceived culture. Ray, I was referring to the comment about race. Race isn't the problem. It's not. But but see, in America, they want to make it the problem. They take nothing and make it something. It's just like they 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 first they beat you in the head with the idea that slavery was based around race. No, the fuck it wasn't. Niggas needed labor. Niggas provided labor. Niggas have been enslaving and getting enslaved. For eons now. This is mandom. This is what happens. But now you think it's personal. It's not. 
Now people can attach it to a skin color. When from the beginning that was not so. Your tribe meant your culture. Who just texted me? Somebody said the government knows this. But yeah, anyway, they're they going to keep beating you with this shit when you watch on the news. And then they, they got little agents out here. They perpetuating this shit. So even if you don't watch it on mainstream media, you're going to feel some type of way about something. And then people going to lump you into a community. So you so you have a sense of false virtue and, and false victimhood. And, and so you can identify with other people who are victims. Then you get to looking at your neighbor sideways. You see how that shit spread? Yo, check it. Looking at the clouds is a harmless act, but if I change the definition of racism to mean looking at the clouds, all of a sudden cloud watching becomes an evil deed. It, pretty much. I ain't... I ain't killed that big spider, but I make commotion till it evacuated my porch. Garden of <laughs> Nah, you probably should have stepped on it. Esau is the black man. I feel like I'm the only one who agrees with with matrix breaker we are victims if we allow ourselves to be victim what the fuck did matrix breaker say that you agree with i missed it big brown with lines on the back that was probably a recluse not the only one lots of dummies in this world are on board with you and matrix i don't know what y'all talking about it's just like people not seeing that, that there's a bigger picture like people people think because this is how they think of things here that that's how it is in the world especially americans americans love doing that shit they love projecting their worldview on every other part of the world. When from the beginning, that was not so. And even now, that is not so. Thoughts on Hotep, Jesus. Um, I don't have no thoughts on Hotep, Jesus like that. The dude that did that, that Starbucks coffee thing, he was like, yo, I'm black, give me a free coffee. When all the Starbucks employees, they was on some, oh, you got it. And then he did that dumb, that dumbass debate with Anomaly or whatever the fuck they call that shit. Somebody said, I love the rebel. I love the... The rebel flag. I don't care what anybody says. I'm talking about the Confederate flag. When you see the Confederate flag, you know what it is. Your folk pick cotton here. That's why they call it the fifth. Right, the, the Confederate flag. That was the Virginia battle flag. Each state had their own little battle flag. It wasn't nothing but something to do. Like fuck it, leave it to be. We're going to battle with this. We identified like a bitch right now. Confederate flag waving. <laughs> The flag of the Confederacy. The 
They say I'm Macedonian, you are Irish just because we are both white. That doesn't make us part of the same tribe. I don't know, but I don't know. But they'd be like, I know a lot of people, they see the Confederate flag and be like, oh, slavery. I'm like, I, I feel that what, for real, if you think about it, it's actually the opposite. With the, with the current American flag, that shit says nothing but slavery. <laughs> when, when that flag came about, it like you, you, and you not flying that co Confederate flag, and you just got the American flag based on what Lincoln did and, and how Lincoln mobilized the military on Americans, on American soil, and started flying that flag of the Union. I mean, to get technical, yeah, that's actually the flag of slavery. The red, white, and blue. His emails on his community. His emails on his community page, Comfortable Bear. Man, you can find the, the swastika. That shit ain't nothing but something. You can find the swastika in pretty much every fucking culture ever. From Egypt to Ethiopia to, to fucking Mesopotamia to like that shit wasn't nothing that shit was not new let's see what we could do here though It's the first time I'm starting this up, too. Shit about to get loud. Like I'm not even going to hold y'all. Uh. I haven't even cut this on. When the last time I cut this on? Did I even turn the gas off? Yeah, I cut the gas off. So let me choke this bitch. Open up the gas. And uh mid-throttle. And turn it. I left the I left the choke on a little bit longer than I needed to. Y'all see we got that big on.
still in the winter. Shit a lot easier to do in the winter, I'll tell you that. All these fucking leaves. Shit just as green as it wanna be. I said matrix breaker spitting facts. Yo, at Esau is the black man. Y'all on that? Esau is the black man. Then who the then who the fuck is the white man? dried up shit oh my sticks that I've been saving over here for the wood chipper
Brent Thacker says, stop deleting the stream. I hear you. Hey, BG, I heard Salty Cracker is looking to buy a wood chipper. Hook him up, but don't steal his bike. Shout out to Salty Cracker. The Civil War was the European bankers taking back America after George Washington and crew freed us from slavery. as fuck out here all right in the fucking fire with you i don't want fucking green wood chips i don't know what i was thinking i got a whole bunch of wood chips up up there on my neighbor property i need to remove well so i can chip them up Salty cracker is a Jew and using cracker in the wrong context. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. It doesn't, Antivis. It really doesn't. Fucking hate those leaves. That shit was not happy about that. It was like, I've woken from my slumber to this shit. I had good intentions, though. Don't worry, I'm going to find you something to eat soon. It ain't going to be that shit, though. I'm burning all that shit. Fuck, Fuck it, leave it to be. I'm going to have a bonfire. Who of you going to take the monkey vax? They starting up with that shit again. UBI is actually fair. If you work, you still get it. Get rid of all welfare. I see there's an argument for that. Somebody said there's going to be a smoky fire. No, I'm, I'm going to wait till the night. We don't all earn the same thing. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. Oh, good. Here she go with the Harbor Freight megaphone. What the fuck y'all talking about? You be out for. I'm for padlock and push mowers. I'm, I'm to junkies and panhandlers. If You look good, BG, for 46 years old, all that manual labor. I appreciate that. Thanks. I'm not 46, though. Fuck wrong with you. Matrix Breaker, get out. Get the fuck out. This nigga called me a 40. I'm not that old. Fuck wrong. Fuck. Hey, try to put it in compliment format. I'm not that fucking old. Somebody say he's he's younger than Anomaly. Bro, I'm younger than Anomaly. The minimum wage should be zero, and some of y'all would still be overpaid. There's a strong argument for that. The argument for that is strong. 
Somebody said BG31, you on it. BG, you always look grumpy. Who the fuck, man? Esau is the black man. Then who the fuck is the white man? Did, did you did did you already? Sixty two Thunderbird, Jamarcus Trunk. Get out, Jamarcus Trunk. <laughs> Fucking sixty two Thunderbird. 67 Corvette. Esau is both black and white Michael Jack. Clearly there's a strong argument for that. I don't fucking know. 56 Bel Air. Antivis, get out. Seventy-six Gremlin. Name with thumbs after name with, with that dumb ass. Get out. Fucking Greenwood chips. You look good for a ninety eight year old BG. Bro, I'm, I'm in my 30s like shit. I'm in my early 30s like shit. Like, I'm not, I'm not even old. Miss what y'all was just talking about, but that Gorilla card is nice. Oh, yeah. Shout out to the Gorilla card. The Gator is my official card, though. And y'all see, I was feeling fancy today, so I pulled out the Milwaukee chainsaw. How to get rid of snakes. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure we have a lot of snakes here, but I don't I don't pay I don't pay attention to them. They don't like in your house. If they're in your house, you got a lot of uh, things wrong with your house. Why do they paint John Deere's green so my Massey Ferguson can grush it? Really? Really? Chevy Celebrity had a diesel model one year. I'm not even, I've never even heard of that. Esau is the black man. That's because you got to eat them on the... They have to be grilled. Esau is the black man. They need to be grilled. Jamarcus Trunk. That's a dumbass name, Jamarcus Trunk. I used to drive a celebrity ages ago. Yeah, well... I'm I'm young as hell, so I wouldn't know nothing about that. Like that was before my time. Is 
if snakes are in your house, get a mongoose. If they are in your yard, keep your grass trimmed short and brush cleared from your property. That first solution was extreme as hell, though. They could kill a mongoose. Damn. <laughs> you got a whole mongoose living with you now. Palace lined up. I got all this white, all this white oak over here. Yo, bluegrass in the woods. This white oak. It's oak. It's oak. What the fuck is this? White oak. Oh, when I first started out cutting up wood, I used to think this was hickory. That was a long time ago. I used to think this was hickory, but it's oak. Bluegrass said white oak. That's what I was thinking. Cause I know black oak has a thicker bark on it. It got like chunk. It has a, like a chunky bark, and red oak has like a smooth. Like this red oak right here. It's the red oak has that smooth with 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 an outstanding contrast between between the grooves and the bark. And then white oak has this flaky shit, kind of like like a shag bark hickory, like that shit just flake. But it smells outstanding. And I got the maple. y'all talking about all right five star media take it easy um let's see i'm definitely deleting this live stream they use white oak for wine barrels around here that sounds intense makes sense though White oak is strong. That shit is strong. What's the difference between white and black oak? Um, white oak has like flaky bark on it. And I guess black oak has like thick studded bark but it's kind of like white but it's like it has bigger bark than a uh, white oak Exigent News said, real Exigent News, you was doing the fuck out one yesterday. You felt like I was coming after you personally, didn't you? You was trying to get your little thing off about intelligent people and truthers, and I was just, like, not hearing it. But I hear you, though. I get it. Like, yeah, you know. That there's a, there's a, people who aren't capable of doing anything physical do bring value back at Garage. Like, I heard you. I fucking heard you. 
Jamarcus Trunk said tree hugger. Uh I think tree huggers would disagree. I'm definitely a tree sniffer. Yeah, I'm definitely a tree sniffer. Nah, I was just talking about how, you know, I feel like we need more doers. And Exigent News was on, was doing the fuck out one. Like, no, we need intellectual. I'm like, I just feel like everybody's overly intellectual for no fucking reason. I and mean, that's just how I feel. I could be wrong. That's just my opinion. Like, everybody, you know, wants to sit around and fantasize about, I don't know. I just, there's less and less doers. Like, I remember looking up to men back in the day who used to make shit happen now people delegate they they talk they discuss shit over brunch like from but in the beginning that was not so that's some new shit and red not said knowledge is dumb no but i can see why somebody who might hear me rant about that type of shit might might think that that's where i'm going and be sarcastic about that i'm not saying knowledge is dumb I'm just saying that um, a lot of the shit these people have to say, it doesn't help you. Like I, I, and I, was, I was specifically speaking about the awakened crowd. It's like the knowledge they learn does not help them in their day to day at all, whatsoever. It's not like me showing you how to replace your fuel pump or how to how to bend brake lines or, you know, um, you know, how the woodworking skills, you know, the proper way to climb a tree, you know, things of that nature. Like the tangible value just isn't there. Like that's not nothing you could pass down to your kids. Like that's knowledge, like how to tap maple trees, collect the sap and make maple syrup. You see? Now, the knowledge somebody has may be how to do those things. And the wisdom comes when you put it into practice. Then you can teach your kids. You could pass that down. That's the real knowledge. But I was just spit like this current shit, this surface level shit of, oh, is Zelensky, what's he going to do next? And, you know, that shit is just, that shit fades. I'm talking about the true, the things that, that stay the same. You don't have to worry about a narrative push button on these things. Like, that's a maple tree. That will always be a maple tree. That's knowledge. Today, people conflate knowledge with this current shit that's going on and wanting to just being nosy about shit. Like, you have less and less doors. And I feel like the fake knowledge is, is burying the authentic stuff in a way. But I honestly don't care. To each his own. I do what I do. Somebody said Junkyard Band. I like that. Shout out to uh, Junkyard Band. Skill sets like how to draw edgy cartoons while talking about the moon landing. I mean, that's not something I would engage in, but oh, you, you must be talking about Jim Bob, huh? It's definitely not something I would do. Shout out to Jim Bob, but I mean, my personal feelings are my personal feelings on that. But I get it. Like you, you can make money doing it for as long as people are interested in in that. But things that stay the same are mechanics, drivers, um and people with skill sets to that actually uh help all of you guys daily lives like help keeping you forward like right now i got a neighbor who's who's plumbing line bust or, or did some weird shit so the guys pulled up today it's like a twelve thousand dollar job the guys pulled up today the they unloaded the excavator they in the neighbor's backyard digging up shit all right people will always need that the people that can come out and do that, a lot of y'all homeowners don't know how expensive owning a home can get. That's what I'm talking about. 
like that knowledge to save you a couple bucks or something to pass down to your kids in case you want to live off grid or you know you want to know how the plumbing works or or uh you want to know uh roofing and electrical wiring that stays the same i, w I was bad i understand why people feel like i don't like i'm oh he's he don't he doesn't like knowledge no nah, that's not what i'm saying that to me is knowledge like i don't know if you niggas live in apartment buildings and you don't have to worry about shit like that but but it's real life out here like people have real things impacting their life and their ability to make a living out here in the real world and valuable skill sets are being put on the back burner for people with fake knowledge they get you nowhere that's all i'm saying so trade school and you will never be out of a job for a tr a trailer that's how simple it is you get a fucking you can get a, a truck in a trailer you don't even have to be all that super i got a trade you don't need bro you get a truck and a truck i told y'all first day with the trailer driving up the street neighbors like yo i got i got something i need you to do man it, 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 i'm i'm not taking shot people feel like i'm talking about them personally like i'm calling them out personally i'm not i'm just saying like I, i've been seeing people on this road doing this they've been traveling down this road going this way and 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 this shit right here this shit why this the straight way over here but this leads to prosperity this route over here this leads to somebody hitting a light switch and now you lose your ability to make a fucking income and you're crying what are we going to do what are we going to do like you get you just gave those same people you call globalists and elite the power to shut off your ability to earn money as you put it in their hands you, you see what i'm saying like i'm like i may be on here but i'm not of here like i'm i'm really pulling people off of here especially when it comes to like the, the finance tip or just business in general I, I i don't i don't even know how to explain it man i know i see what they're doing i know what they're doing and i see people fall for it every fucking day people that say they're woke or awoken And, and this shit hard work like i'm out here sweating like a hebrew slave up there making sure this guy can get in and out of his garage um with no issues removing doing doing cleanups junk removal all, all types of shit and i'm i'm out there working my ass off and i'm like yo this shit is like this is like a hundred dollars an hour right here but you'll have somebody look at um you know somebody on TikTok making like 17 million a year and they're like why would i want to make a hundred dollars an hour when i can make seven 17 million dollars a year doing 15 second dances you see what i'm saying it, 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 and i i personally don't i uh, uh, uh. Cause people they really think i'm like going it like this shit not personal bro i'm just speaking my mind like mm. not all important information and knowledge feeds you or enriches you some knowledge is important for other reasons what are those other reasons exigent news is because niggas want to be nosy that's about it that's about it so not all important information and knowledge feeds you or enriches you. So what the fuck are people taking time out of their lives learning the bullshit for? What point is it? Just to know? Just so you can know? Just so you feel like you know something somebody else doesn't know? So you could lord it over other people? Like, what's the fucking point? What's the point? knowledge of what eternal salvation no so what's the fucking point like that shit just sounds stupid to me like that's goofy as fuck to me like you understand that right it helps you plan for the future in conjunction with the actions but if your foundation is rooted is already rooted in tangible solutions you won't have to go through none of those phases 
You could just, mm hmm, I know. Or I don't even need to know. I don't do that. It's like I didn't need the I didn't need to know why. I don't need I don't need I didn't need the intricate details of oh the WHO has done this. I didn't need to look into their history to know what oh why don't wear a mask. No nigga, I don't do that. End of story. I don't need no trutherism in my life and nothing is gonna move me from this. I don't need to know all of that. I don't need I don't need to know what's in this vaccine. I don't take no vaccines. So I could give a fuck let there's somebody out there that knows more about what was all in this vaccine than I do. Because I don't care. Because I don't take vaccines. So me learning that is not important. And I have other more pressing things that I could be out here learning. Like how to tap, like how to tap my maple trees. You see what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Like people like doing it because they're nosy as fuck. That's it. People are nosy as fuck. People are on a need to know basis and that shit gets you fucked up. I learned that. It gets a lot of people fucked up. Because a lot of people reveal stuff and then they don't they don't know how to move forward after uncovering certain things. And then they just stay stuck in that programming state of mind where it's like where it's like the people who gave it to you wanted you there the whole time. Like there is no purpose. That shit, there's not even knowledge. It's bondage. It's bondage. That's not even knowledge. It's not, it's not knowledge of the most high. It's not knowledge of how to feed yourself. It's not knowledge on how to grow. It's not knowledge. It's just man's ideas. All you're doing is swapping ideas back and forth. That shit doesn't mean nothing. That's why I'm comfortable saying I'll shit on y'all dogmas and ideas. That shit doesn't mean nothing to me. People got mad. They're like, he black pill. He doesn't care about the truth. I'm like, no, your truth isn't truth. Because your truth will change tomorrow. It will change tomorrow. Like these things I'm talking about, they stay the same down throughout history. Humans are the resource. Now that you know that, how are you going to move? Like I am wealth. I don't need pocket full of money helps but i am wealth i have become wealth in any fucking situation in any situation like that's me the rest is entertainment that's it it's not even knowledge it's entertainment because you're nosy so i get what you're saying exigent news but you know paralysis by analysis <laughs> Maple syrup is my blood. Where in North Carolina? All over North Carolina. I love North Carolina. I love North Carolina. Shout out to North Carolina. North Carolina. Bruh, you know what? North Carolina has the best barbecue on the East Coast. Fuck it. I said it. It's not Tennessee. Shout out to North Carolina. I like people from North Carolina in general. They just have a more mature tend to have a more mature outlook like on some grown man shit even the youngins you meet out there they be like yes sir no sir yes sir like, i like that i like it. And, and, and they work they work down there too they get their hands dirty. You might say Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, the Redneck Riviera. It, it, it's not it's not that fast. You know, it's people you got people like down where I am, people don't move as fast as they do like in DC or Baltimore or Philly or New Jersey or you know New York. You know, you just have more laid back people in general. 
I mean, you got some hot spots, but but you got people that um. No, it's just a, I don't know. I, I like it. We put sauce on our barbecue in North Carolina. All right, I'm taking back everything. I'm giving the best barbecue title to Virginia. Memphis barbecue is overrated is overrated. Somebody said North Myrtle Beach is the nicest part. Man, shout out to Myrtle Beach. That's where all the women spend they, they tax return money at. <laughs> we go on to Myrtle Beach. You might see it. Carolinas are beautiful. The traffic is crazy, though. Someone said he loved us two seconds ago. Yeah, but then I found out y'all put sauce on y'all barbecue. No. So, no, fuck y'all. Pittsburgh got great barbecue. Get out. Pennsylvania, no, nowhere in Pennsylvania. No. Pennsylvania doesn't even make the discussion. I'm not feeling eggplant BG, honestly. I mean, there's a strong argument for that. You know, because I wasn't the one that cooked it and prepared it and served it you know but you know somebody said only thing pittsburgh does correctly is char a steak Yeah, there you go, Shea Pierre. Virginia has the best barbecue. And if you don't believe me, you need to come to my house next time I cook out. That's all I'm going to say. Just come to my house next time I cook out. That one I'm out here, y'all see me ducking this sun, the sun on my head. Where's Watachi and his VCR? Oh, he was in here. He stepped out to chat to smoke a Marlboro rig real quick, but he'll be right back. I'm about to get up out of here, though. Any last questions? Final questions, and then I got to get out of here. I got to get this fire going. Maybe split some oak. Put a little, put a little dent in that little pile of rounds right there. Any questions? BG ain't ever going back to Leesburg or any other facility. Oh, Leesburg, Leesburg out there. Leesburg out there. Shout out to Faith Fair. Faith Fair talking about hey Rome. Shout out to Faith Fair um, for making that reef for the missus. Majors Breaker said advice for getting new customers well matrix breaker you can start by not telling them that race is the most important thing you can start by doing that that's a great fucking start getting customers for what 
This nigga Matrix Breaker at your doors. Trying to sell a job. You're like, did you know that race is the most important thing now? Will you allow me to, to, to fix your fucking radiator? Please. <laughs> Please. This nigga Matrix Breaker got a little business card on the front. It say, if it ain't white, it ain't right. <laughs> like, who the fuck sent me this shit? <laughs> what are the final questions? Oh, Jessica, she said, what if you can go to Faith Fair or YouTube channel? She she put it, it was like on a, like a, on a you know, it's, it's like a, a teal blue wreath. Matrix Breaker said, you got me all wrong, fam. No, Matrix Breaker, you got me all wrong. I'm joking with you. I'm joking with you. Bring it in. Bring it in, Matrix Breaker. Bring it in. Big hugs. I'm, all, I'm out of here. What, what else y'all got? Come to Kyle's Barbie. No. What's the trick to bleeding ABS system in Chevy? And the same thing you do, you get the you use the two person uh method. You have somebody say it's simple. Your your dad should have taught you this. <laughs> you 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 have somebody step on the brake pedal when they get in the passenger seat. And and where's your ABS module? If it's under the truck towards the front, they go to the back rear um uh caliper or um uh, just loosen the bleed screw and then and then tighten it up and then they can let out the brake pedal get it have them step on the brake pedal three times and on the third put hold it hold it hold that's what you yell from under the car take your little eight millimeter uh wrench your line wrench and then the fluid squirt out close it up and then they can let off the brake pedal and then they pump it back up again So it build up that pressure in that line. Then you hold, you make sure they got their foot on it, they hold it. You loosen it, squirt, it squirts out. Tighten that bitch back up and let it take their foot off the brake pedal. That's all you gotta do. You don't even need a clear tube, none of that weird goofy gay shit. You do that shit three times to, to um each bleed screw and you good and, and work your way to the front. The front should be the last one you do because it's closer to the ABS module or, or the, uh, the master brake cylinder. Like when I bleed the brakes in my Chevy after I replaced the, the brake master cylinder, I started from the back, the back right, then I did the left, then I did the front passenger side, then I did the last one I did was the front driver's side. And, and me and my wifey, we knocked that shit out. I was, she went in there, she stepped on. Hold it. I cracked that bleed screw loose. Squirt. That shit said squirt. When it squirt like that, you tighten that bitch right back up. And then she she could take her foot off the pedal and then she pump it back up. If you if you have if she pumping it and she take her foot off the brake pedal and you crack open the bleed screw, you got to do it all over again because you just let air into the line and your brakes won't be spongy as a bitch. Some of y'all having problems stopping right now. Like your brakes, you like you just replaced the brake pads and you thought that would help you stop your vehicle. It didn't because you got air in the brake line. Brake fluid is hydroscopic. That shit absorbs air. Like any moisture get trapped in there, that shit, you, you need to, yeah, go ahead and bleed that. And then, and then some, and beware of these shops you go to, they'll call it a brake flush. No, nigga, fucking brake, nah, we need to purge the air from the brake system. That's all you need. Some of y'all need to do this anyway. It don't matter if you just changed anything. Some of y'all just got old ass 1988 fluid in there. You need to go ahead and, and do it. And, and some people think they can get away with... Um, Say if they replace the front, um, the front passenger side uh, caliper, 
or open the line on the front side, they could just uh, purge the air from that one caliper. No, it's in the whole system. You got to do everything. You got to go back to awful wheels. Now, they sell a kit. They sell a kit that you can get, and you can bleed the brakes yourself. You don't need nobody else. It got a vacuum. I have that kit, but I hate it because over time, the, the, the hoses, they get hard as rock, and it, 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 it's weird. It's, it's, it's weird, but, but you can do it yourself. But the easiest way, some people let it, let it, some people let it gravity bleed. So y'all didn't need nobody, right? Some people let it gravity bleed, where they just crack open the bleed screw and just let it do its thing for a couple days. It's just a purge all the air. Make sure you keep the fluid topped up. Don't let that fluid level go below that, 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 that low level, because if you bleeding and you forget to fill up the, the reservoir under the hood, and that that uh reservoir go empty yeah you now you need the bench bleed the fucking brake master cylinder and that's a pain in the ass now you have to actually remove it from the vehicle to bleed it unless you got that kit which you can pick up at napa not being a shell or nothing but i got the kit i can bleed it on the truck but that's how you do that next question yo next question i y'all next question Somebody said pro Russia. Russia said that 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 I'm not pro Russia. I would be a fool to just come out and be like I'm pro Russia. That, that makes no fucking sense. Next question. Pump it till it squirts. Solid advice. No, once you pump it like three times, it's gonna squirt. Once you get in there, <laughs> hold it to the floor. Do not let your foot off of that brake pedal. And then the person who's under the car, they can go ahead and loosen the bleeder screw. And then the fluid going to squirt. It's going to squirt out. Squirt. You wait till it, it, it slow drips. And then you tighten it. And then the person in the driver's seat can let their foot off the brake pedal. And then they pump it again. <laughs> Hold it. Loosen the nut again, squirt, tighten the nut. They can let their foot off the brake pedal. Do it one more time. Hold it, loosen the nut, squirt, tighten the nut. Make sure it's closed. They can let their foot off the brake pedal. Now that has been successfully bled. That, that has been purged of the air. Now you got to go to the next tire and do the same thing. When did you learn about car repair? Impressive. I and mean, it's just pretty basic. Like your daddy should have taught you this. I mean, this really isn't impressive. This is, this is actually. I thank you. I'll just accept the compliment and not be a dumbass about it. Thank you. I feel like I'm watching Sticks, Hex, and Hammer. Nigga, get out. I do not have a cat. I don't pet cats here. You are not pro-Russian, but we watch this channel a lot. Respect. Man, shout out to the Russians. Understand, I'm not pro-Russia, though. Understand, I know y'all got your little thing going on with, with Dilly Dallas, Zelensky, and them, but I don't I don't have no dog in that fight. That ain't none of my business. And I really don't care. Y'all do what y'all got to do. And let people do what they can about it. Other than that, shout out to you. Teach me to be black in America. I can't. I don't. I don't even have. Listen, let, man. Let, I'm a conqueror. I don't. I don't even know what it means to be black in America no more. If you. You ask ten niggas, you gonna get ten different answers. You add you you can ask him over there. I mean, all oh, the white people oppress you, and you listen to Kodak Black. You come over here and ask me. I'm tell you, get a truck and a trailer. 
and go to work. Like, I don't even know what the fuck that means. No one knows what that means. No one. The, the descendants of slavery. That's that's as good as it's going to get for getting the answer. Did you be like, but the descendants of slavery. I don't know. Like, I conquer shit. I'm not, I'm not. I don't have a hard dick for my ancestors being in, in slave chains. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they had, you know, it doesn't fucking matter to me. I don't give a fuck. I have to conquer shit. Not ask to be accepted by white people. I don't give a fuck about white people for real. I don't give a fuck about black people for real. I do not like people on a mass scale for real. Fuck all of y'all. Shout out to you though. Shout out to all of you guys right there. Don't look at me like that, Nia. I don't give a fuck. I, got, I have to conquer shit. And I'm sitting here waiting for the fall, the collapse of this society to start my zombie apocalypse group so you niggas can see exactly what the fuck I mean when I say I conquer shit. You can miss me with all that other shit. We don't need talks about privileges. Yeah, I'm a fucking beast. And the, the, the weird thing about it is I'm a beast. This chicken tender color, the golden corral jaints. Yeah. I'm a chicken tender color beast. The golden corral jaints. I conquer shit. Every fucking day I wake up, I put my pants on. I'm like, yo, the world is a duck and I'm a fuck it. Somebody say golden corral is gross. But they got the, the chicken tenders that, that match my skin complexion the closest. So the golden corral giants. Yeah. Yeah. Next question. I got to go. Next question. Somebody said those bugs are conquering you. Somebody said Mick burnt, bruh. That could have been out there a bit like a Hebrew slave. I've been working in the sun all damn day. I still am intrigued as to why y'all call yourselves black. Is there a country somewhere called black? Oh, gosh. Bro, the black situation came out before my time. As far as black as a title, I don't care. It ain't nothing but a color. It's English. For black. Just like nigger came from the, the, the Spaniards word for black. Like, I don't give a fuck. Bruh, no spells. Spells don't work on me. That's why I say I reject titles. Next question. Somebody said it's called Ghana. I don't give a fuck if it was called your mama. I got to conquer. I don't, my dick doesn't get hard for images of slavery. And the white man standing over a black man on his knees with chains just a, a bunch of niggas on a fucking slave ship going somewhere or the white man showing up conquering villages or 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 look or out here looking for the kk fucking k like that shit makes certain people's dick hard like they can't wait until some type of until some shit goes down that they could call racism so their dick gets hard and they can look <laughs> so they can go grab their special sock and then do a whole fucking podcast about how racist every fucking thing is 
Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I conquer shit. Are you a Canadian DEA agent? Fuck no. Y'all got DEA up there too? People have put me in a black American box. Like, that's not where I put myself. Like, I have no say-so over that, though, to answer your question. Like, I don't fucking know. Yeah, I guess to figure that out, you got to ask white people why they chose white. Like, where the, where the fuck did that shit come from? Some people say the globalists. And then that makes a lot of sense. Because you got to think, if you got a whole bunch of white people in, a, in, in Europe, we're surrounded by white people, why the fuck would you call yourself white? So, I don't know. White, black, I don't fucking know. I just helped a 74-year-old neighbor load the sofa while two steppers in their 20s did nothing. Because nobody wants to fucking work. People just want to make videos and do news analysis and make rap songs. I'm not taking shots at Anomaly neither. I'm just, that's just, that just organically came to my mind when I... <laughs> I mean, he does all of that, but... Niggas ever think it's don't want to work? Somebody said too much caffeine today, BG. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't I don't drink coffee. I don't caffeinate. Um I want to start doing YouTube live streaming in my backyard. Go for it. Understand, I don't make money doing this shit. I'm not about to buy a farm with my YouTube career. Understand that. <laughs> Understand. I'm a broke bitch. What the fuck? YouTube with YouTube. It's not. It's definitely not lucrative. If you want to go for it, go for it. Somebody say everybody want to talk. I want to talk. I want to call people bitches. I want to tell. I want to call people bit that don't work bitches. I be back this bitch talking like shit. There ain't nothing wrong with talking. It's the making a living. That 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 I don't have a problem with it. It just kind of rubs me the wrong way and it's, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't jive with a lot of people's message that they preach. But that that ain't for me to understand. I do what I do, they do what they do, and apparently I'm gonna do what I can about it. Which is nothing, because I don't care. But I will say something about it because it's funny. And I'm just entertainment. Group hug for BG. Bring it in. Nah, I don't want y'all to hug. And Matrix Breaker got his special sock thing going on right now. Nah, stay away from me. Somebody said, nah, no hugs. We got to wear a shirt first. He's sweaty. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I fucking stink right now, too. Nobody wants to hug me. Somebody said, monkey pox going around. And, and I wouldn't have known that unless I hopped on here today. Because I haven't listened to nobody talk about it. And I haven't cut on the fucking news. Or been on Twitter to get little updates. Every, and, and nothing's falling apart around me. You go online, you'll see a different world than, than what you see when you go outside. And people, you think people are running around with their shirts on fire screaming, help! You go outside, everything's cookies and bubbles. People on, whole family right there on the bike. I'm out here working. The, the, 
the, there was a couple Robins out here fighting each other. You know, life goes on. Like that shit, it's not even all it's cracked up to be. Fucking monkey pox. So, and, and just like monkey pox, like, I don't believe in that shit. So, there's no need for me to go research about it and look up what agenda they might push by it and then get concerned and then start stressing people out that's around me with it and be like the monkey pot like nah there's no need for me to even give that any airtime. there's no need for me to spread that this is where that stops with me the dude just said yo the monkey pox you see what he did this is where it stops i'm not spreading that because then you you validating it when you spread it around like that you you're you're lit you're, you're giving it air time and then the more people see it the more people stare into the eyes of medusa they turn the stone the more it becomes and the and, and thank you and the more it becomes what the fuck was that and so yeah this 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 way that stops with me faith fair seen or faith fair you ain't faith fair seen that reef another one on there that one good too somebody said when cat did watermelon hmm mm hmm So yeah, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. So I'm not gonna spread that monkey pot shit. I'm not even gonna talk about this shit no more. Bill Gates is pregnant with George Soros' baby. Like a lot of this shit y'all say, it doesn't, like I don't go around repeating it. Like, I hear it, I think about it, but I'm not stressing nobody else. But come get me when you see the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Come get me when you see angels peeling back seals with plagues. Come, come get me when you hear a trumpet and you don't know where the fuck it's coming from. Just loud. Come, come, come get me when you hear the voice that sounds like a thousand rushing waters, just crashing waves. That other shit just entertainment. I said they got Godzilla in Call of Duty. No, I, don't, I told you. I told you I got a wife. She just hands me food for no fucking reason. Like you, that, that, like that shit normal. 
Somebody said, damn, you still alive? I am. I've been on here two hours, 28, two hours, two minutes. Somebody said she trying to make you fat. Bruh, burn it up, bruh. If you move, man, if you moving, if I do be getting fat. Sometimes I get fat. I get fat. Got a 3,500 square foot house wash tomorrow, BG. BG, you want to help? Damn, you moving. You doing big things. Y'all see BG smiling about that water? Bro, that watermelon slaps. I'm talking about on a hot summer day, and that shit just, it, you be dehydrated as fuck. You eat a piece of watermelon, nigga, you, you need to hydrate. No streams under two hour long allowed. I might delete this shit because I'm, I'm sitting here eating watermelon on stream. Like that shit ain't gonna jive, man. Like I didn't even put in a request for watermelon. I don't know what the fuck. You need to hydrate. I heard the seeds are not cool to swallow. BG, what do you think about Gnostic beliefs? I don't want to talk about that. I don't give a fuck. Major breakers. On. Any last questions? And then I'm out. I could kill for some watermelon. And that watermelon was sweet too. It wasn't overly sweet. It was just right. And the watermelon had that texture. It had that texture on it. That shit was just... But that's why you see me out there sound like ground. That shit was amazing. how to get a house in the country as opposed to the city that's pretty easy typically houses in the country cost a lot less well you can rent a house in the country go fucking you can rent a house in the country it costs a lot less like you can rent a house in the country like renting a room in the city you'll be paying more than renting a house in the country now it depends on where you work if you need to if you need to be tethered to a city because that's where you work that's another thing like i don't know what to tell you can you do can you do a fauci impersonation i don't even know where fauci's been at i haven't heard fauci talk for a long time yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I have to become a bitch. Jessica, she now you want me to become a bitch. I have to tap into my inner bitch in order to pull out this Fauci impersonation. I don't feel like doing this. They're actually, actually, I do. I, I kind of feel like doing it. There was once a diagnosis, and we had a cat. The cat came in. The cat was on it. And then the duck walked into a bar. It was just like a little bar. The, the bartender handed the duck a baglet and was like, I don't know if you have monkey pox. You probably have something that Richie from Boston gave you. I'm not quite sure, but, but, but we are analyzing the situation. And currently, all of, everybody that needs to know what's going on knows what's going on. So there's no need for you to rush out and purchase a mask. If you do get a mask, make sure you get a diaper, a Depends mask, a little baglet. Just stick a Safeway bag over your head. That'll protect you from droplets and little sprinklets. Don't talk to your neighbors. Your neighbors, they want to harm you indirectly, but directly because they, they're not. There's just a lot of things that we don't know, but we know we don't know these things, and we know that you will die if you do not put a shopper's bag over your forehead. And, and, and don't breathe for 10 minutes. Stand eight feet apart from people. I don't even know what Fauci would say. <laughs> Somebody said too much Bernie in the back of the throat. Now, I haven't done Fauci in a long time. Any, any, somebody said neighbor suck. Bro, I agree. 
it's easy it's all talking about city city living in country the hardest part is because you pay less city i got people in the city um and they just they love dc but it's just so much cheaper out here but then they feel like it's not a lot going on so a lot of people they'll you they be like but ain't nothing going on out there and i'm like what all do you want to be going on you know what 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 all do you want to be going on like you don't need much you know all you need is, i don't know i don't know i get these responses i be talking to my people i'd be like you know some you know, spots opening up and shit. They be like, nah, because there ain't nothing going on down around your way. I'm like, well, what all do you want to go on? Like, they come out here, they feel out of place. They're like, where the fuck is the 7-Eleven? And we got a 7-Eleven down there. But they're like, that shit too far away, son. I can't walk there. I'm like... <laughs> I don't know. And, and this ain't even the country. Yeah, I guess it's all in the head, but it, this ain't even the country. Like, I feel like it's too many people here, but they'll come down here to visit me and be like, where the fuck all the people at? Yo, what the fuck is this? A ghost town? You know, they got that shit going on. They're like, yo, what the fuck? Where the fuck are the stores? I'm like, over that hill. They're like, no, that's too far. That's too fucking far. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't want, you'd be like, yo, who the f They'd be like, where the fuck is your parking garage? You don't have a fucking parking garage? I'm like, no, I have a driveway. They're like, no, what type of country shit is that? The fuck you mean you got a driveway? No. Little, you know, parking spots. Not even a sign. Just first come, first serve. Whoever gets there first. You don't have that? Well, this shit country. Who the fuck? You got a backyard? Nigga, this backyard. Who the fuck wants a backyard? Nigga, we got a community pool in the commons area i'd be like i got a pool right there but the frogs are in there what type of what in the wildlife type of shit you got going on here i don't know how do you feel about people taking their dogs everywhere grocery store home depot man listen Yo, man, look. I feel like, and Jessica, she out there on the West Coast. I feel like it's different, like, on the West Coast, East Coast, with dogs. Shout out to, shout out to white people. But when you go to Arlington, Virginia, Alexandria, Virginia, Washington, D.C., Bro, they love, the women love walking, they fucking, and they always got a big ass dog too. But they live in like a apartment, you know, just, they be in an apartment. Like they'll have a St. Bernard in like a fucking, in like a one bedroom apartment that they're paying like $2,500 a month for. And they, they walk, they dog, they all have dogs. All of them. Just in the middle of the street walking they dog, big ass dogs. Cane Corsos in a one bedroom. That shit wow. And then you you see with on, on the news and on the media, the West Coast, they be having them little ass dogs in their purse with big ass backyards with a little ass chihuahua because it's cute in a little purse. Out here they have no yard whatsoever. And I have like 10 pit bull puppies. In a in a cane corso and a Doberman and in a fucking greyhound. With no backyard, all in a one-bedroom apartment. On the West Coast, it seemed like they'll get a big-ass backyard, Beverly Hills, with a little chihuahua. No, they don't carry poodles and purses here. They, they got big-ass... 
uh, greyhounds walking them. Go to Arlington, Virginia. You'll see what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, big dogs are in, but you can't have property, no. And pe people, you have to overpay for, like, an apartment. Because apartments in Arlington, like, Clarendon, people being Clarendon paying, like, 5000 a month for, like, a two-bedroom apartment. With no parking spaces. You know, but they don't want to move down here. So you, you bring up down here. They're like, I can't move down there because where's the yoga studio? There's no yoga studios where you live. Why the fuck would I want to move down there? And you're like, what? What? This shit wild. Man, the East Coast wild with they dogs, man. They has aggressive dogs walking them with no backyard for the dog. Just no room for the dog. <coughs> oh, we don't have a Starbucks around here. At all. <coughs> I'm inhaling that tree sex. We don't have a Starbucks around here at all. Um, somebody said, thinking it's all cute and cuddly. Yeah, they love it. And then typically the big ass dog, you know, they, they, you know. They'll keep a big ass dog in a cage in the kitchen. <coughs> Excuse me. Big ass dog. Big ass Caucasian shepherd. Just in the kitchen, in a cage. Cold Spring Queen said, I want to carry my chickens into Home Depot in a purse. Okay. Now the image that that's an adorable image that I just got in my head. I don't know why. Shout out to you and that one chicken you have named Pound Cake. <clears throat> I feel I feel you on that. If it all falls, I feel you on that. Somebody said there's two Starbucks a minute away from me. Always packed just because. Bro, we got Chick-fil-A up the street. That shit always packed. Yo, Chick-fil-A is lit at all hours of the day. That shit bumper to bumper getting in there. Chick-fil-A has their own police force. I lie, I shit you not. They got their own traffic force. Because so many people is going to Chick-fil-A and the line be right, and it's in the shopping center, the line be wrapping uh, up through the IHOP going all the way through the cleaners wrapping back in like some type of weird ass and then it'd be down that street trying to come up they got cops out there it's a cop on patrol he, he just doing this shit all day you like yo what the fuck Oh yeah, Sunday is blank. <clears throat> you could build a Chick-fil-A next to a Chick-fil-A and both drive throughs was man, Chick-fil-A wild. They putting crack in the biscuits or something. Chick-fil-A is always packed. Somebody said the workers are the one doing the patrolling. They do the patrolling the closer you get to the Chick-fil-A. But out here, just coming up, just getting off the, um, coming up the street, they out there at the intersection already because so many people turning in. And you can't make that right-hand turn in there. And they got cones all the way... <clears throat> All the way down the street. <coughs> they still got their pollen. 
They got cones all the way down the street. Oh, I got water right there. The missus brought water. Like, that shit, wow. And it's always an accident, too. I'm considering getting a franchise only 10,000. Man, you better off getting a, a truck and a trailer. That fast food shit get old real quick. <clears throat> You'll be an old man by the time you're 35. Like the, the restaurant business in general, man, that shit is just wear and tear on your, well, everything is wear and tear on your body, but that shit, wow. You got the monkey pox. I saw an Amazon van get stuck in the drive-thru, blocking both lanes shut down because two more wrecks, people trying to get in there. Man, that shit crazy. All right, any last questions and then I got to go. Elites are the most racist. I can't even call them that. I don't believe in racist. I think they believe you, you guys are useless eaters, which a lot of people are. Do you think that men shouldn't be bare shaven? I, I really don't care. I haven't even put no thought into it. Like, I don't care. I'm not one of these mustache guys. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't like clean shave. Like, just nah, you bare shaving, nigga, you start looking like a pedophile and shit. Like, you, like, nah, like, yeah, like men should have mustache. But I see the new thing is for men just to have full beards and shit. Like, that's what all men everywhere are doing. Like, that seems to be in now. I don't know. It's just the, the, the times we living in. When you gonna do some zero-turn mower content? Man, when I do my shield part two live stream. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a shield part two live stream. Any last, any last question, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I gotta, I'm going to let y'all go. I've been holding y'all hostage. Why do you like touching your facial pubes so much? I don't know. Just sometimes when I think, I do it like this, and I ponder. I sit there. Somebody be like, why do you like touching your facial uh, pubes so much? I'll be like, hmm, that's a good question right there. Huh? You know, I'm thinking, man. All right, what else y'all got? Yeah, it does seem like men now are having hella long beards now. I wonder why. It, it just, it, societal standards change. And uh, what's in becomes in, and what, what's out goes out. It's just the end thing to do. Like, a lot of men with no beards yesterday, they got a full beard today and shit. Like, it's just... Men are supposed to have beards. Why are men supposed to have beards? I mean, I agree with you to a certain extent, but why? Why are men supposed to have beards? You're probably one of the people that make fun of men with long hair, too. You'd be like, oh, a man shouldn't have long hair. They just let it grow. Why not? The same thing with beards. Why are men supposed to have long beards? But not long hair. Um, 10,000 for a franchise, you lying? Shit, you could be, it's probably a franchise out there. I don't know. I don't know nothing about franchi franchising. Somebody said, I just don't like to shave my face. I don't either. I was, that shit's in the way. There's a lot going on. <clears throat> I don't like to, I don't like to do my hair or shave my face. 
Like, I haven't gotten a shape up since I was, like, fucking 15. You got an OnlyFans account to check? Yeah, check out the link in the description box and the link in the bio. Check out my book, buy my book. Share this video, like the video, thumbs up the video, share the video, bring my name everybody you know. Buy my book, How to Be a Black Man, Black Man in America during the gas crisis shortage, during the crypto, uh, during the crypto uh, fall. And, and, and go on my OnlyFans, my subscribe star, my bitch you, my minds. Go to my minds and buy my other book called Black Man Working BMW, a story of a black man working in America with high gas prices in hardback at Ace Hardware. I want to buy a candle holder. The store didn't have one, so I got a cake. Look it up, 10,000 for a franchise, but they take 60%. Okay, no, let's not, let's. That's the Russian from earlier. Promo code string cheese. Um, what else? Any last questions? And I'm gonna get up out of here. It's hot as fuck out here. It's hot as fuck. I'm, I'm gonna start burning shit. No, there's an actual person who's trying to hack the chat. Well, Samson had long hair. And John the Baptist. Yeah, for spe specific reasons, though. Samson had long hair because he was a Nazarite. It, uh, the messenger of, of the Lord appeared to Samson's mom and said, Hey, from birth, your son will be a Nazarite. You are not to cut his hair. Also, he is to abstain from these foods. John the Baptist was also a Nazarite. He took the oath of Nazar. Not to be confused with Nazarene. Because I had people, I was talking about the book of Numbers chapter 6. And people were like, you know, Jesus was a Nazarene. Yeah, not Nazarite. Nazarene and Nazarite, two different things. The Messiah was not a Nazarite. But those are specific instances. Um, plasma apocalypse going to be fun. Sure, whatever. Somebody said, would, would you ever visit California? Yeah, if I, you know. Um, probably not in the near future. You know, I might visit California to pick you up if you start acting a little autistic and I'm bringing you to the Midwest of Autism Acres to our official compound, but outside of that there's no need for me to go to california i'm not interested in the culture the food you know the music business i'm not fuck hollywood the people seem vain and extremely uppity everybody seems to be pushing an agenda you know uh, you know a whole bunch of gay guys no nah, i'm good I, I like it here in virginia I'm I'm a, I'm a country, but I'm a simple guy who some people believe is a little bit southern. I'll give you that. There's a strong argument for that. I'm just a simple guy. I don't I don't need all that. Northern Cali is rad. That's exactly why I don't want to fucking go. All you niggas do up there is grow weed. The fuck you want me to do? What I'm gonna, what I'm gonna go up there and do? Um. You'll have a huge compound. Yeah, all these fucking retarded people like I gotta have a huge compound. Somebody said hike and camp. Why can't I do that here? You know how many caverns we have in Virginia? Bro, I can go to Tappahannock, Virginia and hike and camp. Why the fuck would I go to Northern Cali for that? Who the fuck would want to do that? It's just the travel people. Let's travel. No, that's weird. Like, no, nah, my state, my, we got all that shit down the street. It's just LA and San Francisco don't be full. Nah, I'm not I'm not fond of Sacramento neither. I'm not fond of all that shit, none of it. There's nothing I need in California. Um like y'all don't even have oak trees out there. BG did did do you get into cryptids? 
I don't know what crypt this is. Is that some type of weed or some shit? Is that cryptocurrency? What is cryptids? I don't know. I don't do. I don't do weed or crypto. I don't. <clears throat> um. What? What book in the Bible? U N B G. I have no idea what you're talking about. Bro, I've read the whole thing like five times. I don't know. I've also read the Quran some shit at times too. Like, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Bigfoot is a cryptid. Crypto is the market of beast currently. Weed, California burned down ironically. Hey, y'all don't need weed. Um, somebody said, but it's a golden state. We go hard. Yeah, and Virginia is the kill tyrant state it on the virginia flag it literally says six semper tyrannis with the guy with the spear standing over a tyrant's dead body no virginia goes hard shout out to the official bird the cardinal and we are for lovers what else y'all got seems like y'all should come to virginia or or maybe not Owen screams too much. I have no idea. Owen Benjamin is a white Jew. Oh, says he's a white enthusiast, and I agree with him, kind of. Oh, yeah. yeah. North Cal was red, wasn't real. Y'all have no oak trees out there, though. We have oak trees here. I have everything I need here. Anyway, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs>